Hello and welcome to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Frankie de Jong, as it has been reported that Manchester United are set to meet Barcelona's asking price for Frankie de Jong. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about Samuel Umtiti, as it has been reported that a new suitor have entered the race for Umtiti and Serie A's Florentina are showing interest in signing the out of favor Barca centre back. We are going to be looking at that as well. So, guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. The Frankie de Young to Manchester United saga is only into its second month. But it seems to be drawing to an inevitable conclusion. Barcelona have rejected United's opening bid of around 70 million each and stand firm on their quote of 80 to 85 million euros. According to Gerard Romero, Manchester United are very close to reaching this valuation and they are ready to offer Barca 80 million euros plus variables. They are hoping this will help them find common ground with Barcelona so they can, you know, they can then pursue the players' agreement. De Jong, however, has insisted on playing in the Champions League next season. This makes the move even more complex for United, who are in the Europa League next season, and they face a monumental task of competing with the likes of revamped Tottenham Hotspur and Arsenal next season. Should the move finalize, though Barcelona are expected to use those funds to pursue Man City's Bernardo Silva, who has been a lifelong fan. He's crazy about donning the Garnet and Blue and conveyed as much through a text message to a Barcelona official of his desire to join. The city stalwart carries a price tag worth over 85 million euros, maybe 90 or 100 million euros as we've been getting in the past which means Barca will have to squeeze every last drop from their recently approved economic levers. It's not surprising to hear this report of Manchester United, you know, set to meet the, the asking price for Frankie de Jong. Considering how we have seen the persistence from them, how they aren't the ones in by all means through the, through Eric Ten Hag influencing the deal, you know, to reunite with his former player. But there comes a the problem. Frankie de Jong, you know, playing Champions League football. He desires to play Champions League football and he has repeatedly said he does not want to go to Man United. So even if Barca accepts that money and if in case the offer comes along, then Barca accept. United also have that heavy task of convincing Frankie de Jong because personal terms have not been agreed upon because of because of the young's persistence that he wants to stay at Barca, he wants to grow at Barca, he wants to continue playing at Javi, with Javi and others. So that's where the problem lies. But we've been getting the reports of United still confident about getting Frankie de Jong, despite his persistence of not moving to Old Trafford. You know, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a long saga, you know, despite the report of United close to to meeting that valuation that Barca have been asking, it's going to be a long, because to convince Frankie de Jong will not be that easy. You know, it, take, it takes a lot. But the truth is, if Barca accept that, then Frankie de Jong's fate, unfortunately, will be sealed because he will have to go. So the only bad thing is he will leave Barcelona with an unhappy face. Very unfortunately, he will leave Barcelona with, with, with sadness, you know which we the fans, most of us, never wanted that to happen. Since Frankie de Jong came to Barca three years back, we have, you know, many fans have been seeing Frankie de Jong as that player with great, great potential. I mean, Frankie de Jong always there in the starting lineup, one of our main players. Even though things have not really been that, you know, that sharp, things have not really been good the way most people expected when he made that huge move from Ajax three years back. You know, Frankie de Jong is still very important still very very important you know even when he, he is not in his best form he is still very crucial in that midfield you know he's just out of despair that Barca had to cash in on him despite the economic levels that were approved last week Barca still went ahead with their plans 
some people thought maybe you know the deal will not go through because Barca now have something in their coffers this and that but Barca had already entered negotiations with Man United and they are very much open to, to making that deal work out so that they can bring in some cash in the club to facilitate other activities so let's see how everything ends up United confident and they are close to meet the valuation of Frankie de Jong and another huge task for them is to convince the player of course come to personal terms with him that will not be easy so let's see how things unfold in the coming weeks then moving on to the next story of discussion with just over a week remaining before Barcelona kickstart their new season preparations they are expected to seal the exit of a host of fringe players in the team Clement Langlet for one has recently become a subject of interest for European giants AS Roma and also Tottenham Hotspur, with Ricky Push is reportedly keen on selling his exit by next week. According to L'Equipe in France, Samuel Umtiti is another player facing the prospect of a potential exit from the Camp Nou. The French centre-back has indeed become a subject of interest for Florentina. The Serie A outfit are anticipating the sale of Nikola Melenkovic this summer, with the Serbian international emerging as a target for Atletico Madrid, among others. It is likely Milenkovic will move on, potentially creating a massive void in the Florentina defensive unit. But in Samuel Umtiti, the Vowlers have identified an ideal replacement. Fiorentina rate the Barca defender highly because of his physical prowess and aerial ability. The former Lyon starlet also brings a wealth of experience to the table. It could go a long way in adding stability in the Florentina backline for the coming season. The Italians are expected to make a move for Umtiti as soon as they sanction the exit of Milenkovic. Barcelona are open to, the, for, to that deal as they are actively looking for opportunities to offload the Frenchman in an attempt to not only lower the costs of the workforce but also generate a sizable transfer revenue. If everything goes according to plan, Barcelona could potentially offload three French players in the form of Langlet, Ricky Push, and Samuel Umtiti before they start their training in the start of July. It's interesting to see how some suitors have already started emerging. More suitors are coming for some of our French players. Earlier, we spoke about Lenglet as a new suitor in the form of AS Roma have emerged. And now talking about Samuel Umtiti, another new suitor, still from Serie A, Florentina, have also emerged. You know, we all know in the past, Barca have been finding it so difficult to sell Umtiti due to maybe injury prone nature and very importantly his wages. His wages are really high that most clubs contemplate when going after him. We quite remember Umtiti have a very high wage and you know under the leadership of Jose Maria Batimeo, many of these Barca flops took a lot of wages for no good reason to sit on the bench. You know, money was just spent lavishly anyhow and now to offload some of these players, it's never easy because of the wages that they receive. Most clubs don't see them deserving that wage. That is why you see most clubs failing to, to, to sign any of them. And at the end, Barca are the ones suffering to offload them so that we can have space in our roster. It's not easy. So let's hope that these new suitors of these players will come and they will, bring, they will take them out. With Barca hoping that potential um, a permanent sale will be made for all the French players, even though we know that will be quite difficult, right? Talking about Langlet, we talk about AS Roma wanting a potential sale. I mean, a permanent sale, sorry. And Barca will be so delighted with that. Let's see if that works. But for Umtiti, nothing has been said about if Florentina wants a permanent sale or not. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, it's bye for now.